is Amanda and welcome to the block 2 tutorial in my half square triangle sampler quilt along series! Wow, what a mouthful! The next block that we will be making is this gorgeous little one. It is called the Morning Star Block. So of course the majority of this block is made using half square triangles and then you just have four squares in each corner to make up the block. Now I definitely have to resolve the issue of the block size. I terribly terribly misquoted the size that the blocks will be in my last video. I said that they were 12 and a quarter when they're not. All the blocks in this quilt along are 12 and a half inches. I have no idea where my brain was that day but it obviously wasn't here and I only just realized my mistake right at the moment where I was clicking publish and public and everything. So like right at the last minute I was going around and changing everything and making sure everything was right. So again all of the blocks in this quilt will be 12 and a half inches not 12 and a quarter. As usual you'll find all of the measurement and cutting instructions for this block down in the description box below. You'll also find the link to the pattern sheet which is on my blog in the description as well. The pattern sheet also has all of the measurement and cutting info, it has all of the fabrics that I'm using and some fun little facts about the block which I'm actually really enjoying finding out. I love all that stuff. So enough of my chit chat, this is how you make the morning star block. For block 2, I'm using two contrasting fabrics, the Blue Skies Solid for the background and the Tulips Print for my half square triangles. So to make the morning star block, you will need to cut 6 4 inch squares from your background fabric and also from your print fabric and then another 4 3.5 inch squares from the background fabric. As usual, start the block by first making the half square triangles. Do this by marking a line across the centre of each of the 4 inch background squares. Then pair them up right sides together with the 4 inch print squares. Take the pinned squares to the sewing machine and sew a quarter inch seam along the left hand side of the line, feeding the next pair through as you reach the end. Once all pairs have been chain stitched together, turn them around and sew another quarter inch seam along the other side of the line. After snipping the joining threads, cut each square in half along the pencil line, resulting in 12 half square triangle units. Using a medium to hot steamy iron, press the half square triangles open with the seams pressed towards the print fabric. Next, using a little set square, trim each half square triangle unit down so that it measures a perfect 3.5 inches. To do this, place the 45 degree line running across the centre of the ruler on top of the middle seam while also making sure the 3.5 inch lines are centered around the half square triangle unit. Trim down the first two edges with your rotary blade. Then spin the block around, line up the 45 degree line again, and with the edges of the ruler alongside the two sides just cut. Trim off the last two edges and that's a perfect 3.5 inch half square triangle ready to use. Repeat the same set of steps to square up the other 11 half square triangle units. Next, lay out your 12 half square triangles and the 4 3.5 inch background squares in this design. Working row by row, start with the top one by flipping one square onto the other and pinning it into place. Then do the same with the other two squares in the row. Sew a quarter inch seam along the pinned edge of one and then chain stitch the next pair through in the same way. Snip the joining threads and then on each pair open out the centre seams using your fingers and then pressing them flat into place with the iron. Then give the top of each duo a quick press as well. Lay the pairs back into their original positions. Flip one onto the other making sure the seams in the half square triangles are sitting on top of one another and then pin it into place. Sew a quarter inch seam down this edge, then open out the seam and press it and the right side of the row flat. From here repeat the same set of steps to piece together the other three rows in the block. Once 
Once you've finished piecing the last row, flip the top row over onto the second. Line up all of the seams evenly with each other and then pin the edge into place. Carefully sew the edge together using a quarter inch seam, ensuring that all seams are sitting flat before sewing over them. Open up the seam with your fingers and then slowly press it flat with the iron. After doing the same thing with the other two rows, flip one block half onto the other and line up the seams neatly with one another. Pin the edge into place and then sew one last quarter inch seam along it, ensuring all of the seams are flat as you sew over them. Press the centre seam flat in the same way as the others and then give the top of the block a good final press. Lastly, if you need to, trim the block to 12 and a half inches square using a set square ruler. So there you have it, that is how you make this gorgeous, gorgeous little block. I just absolutely love just how beautiful and subtle and humble this block is. I just think it's really, really lovely. Now of course if you have any questions about this block or the series in general or if there's anything else that you think I've missed or anything like that then please comment below and I will definitely see your question and try and answer it the best that I can. Already so many of you have been sharing your first blocks with me and what can I say you guys are just so awesome. You are all doing such a wonderful job, you're all such pros and I just Oh, they're just really really awesome and I really do appreciate all of you being so enthusiastic and getting into this project quilt along thing and yeah it really does help me and my procrastinating ways to get the next video out for you because you're all just so enthusiastic about it and, and yeah it, it really is very very helpful and yeah you guys, you guys are just so awesome oh, what can I say I just love you all so much so block number three will be out next Wednesday and block four will be out on Friday. I hope you all have a lovely, lovely weekend sewing up your blocks. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you another time very, very soon. Bye! So the first block that we will be making in our half square triangle sampler quilt is this one. It is called Formal Garden. Personally, I've actually never made this block before now, but I actually really quite like it. I really love how the half square triangles give it a really